We got scrimmage intel out there in Gainesville, Florida. They had their first scrimmage of the spring season. Tell you what, man, there's a lot of conversation around. Hey, we got Eugene Wilson, Trey Wilson, whatever you want to call him, just throw him the football. We got him, and he's going to be a weapon for us. Graham Mertz, we feel good about him. But who's going to be that other wide receiver? Well, we talked to uh, some folks over at Gators Online yesterday, and Zach Alberverdi has been all over this. He's got a great report on the scrimmage as a whole, and he's been saying, man, Shamir DK, the transfer from Wisconsin, is going to be a dude, and he was a dude in the spring scrimmage. Multiple connections between him and Graham Mertz had a long touchdown in the spring scrimmage, or in one of the spring scrimmage, rather, the first scrimmage. The big thing with him, Shamir DK, that is, that should excite Florida Gator fans, is there's already that chemistry built in between him and Graham Mertz from their time at Wisconsin. And the way that I see it, man, offensive football, the more comfortable you can make your quarterback, the more answers you can give him throughout the course of a play, the better chance you have to be successful. Shamir DK, that chemistry they have, it's been locked in for a while now. It showed itself in the spring scrimmage. Be excited about him and watch him to be a contributing factor for them consistently this season in Gainesville. That secondary, too, is looking strong. Good day at the office for the secondary. They are responding really well to that new secondary coach out there, Will Harris. By all accounts, he's been very hands-on. Some coaches throw on the sneakers and they're out there with the whistle kind of directing traffic. Will Harris throws on the cleats. He says, listen, you, you want to see how to backpedal? Want to see how to run this three-cone drill? Watch coach do it. I love that personally from a player that fires me up. Devin Moore had a big day at the spring scrimmage, had a pass deflection, had what some folks are calling the play of the day out there in Gainesville for that scrimmage, had a big-time interception where it sounds like he made a really athletic play on the ball, looked it in. Devin Moore, got to know, got to be excited about. Aaron Gates was dinged up last year. This staff feels like he might be the best defensive back that they've signed. He redshirted last year, but when when he's healthy, he's a dude. He also had a good day. Um, Also, they just feel like they have a a more together unit overall with that secondary. They feel like they're more established. They had to play a lot of young bucks last year by nature of guys not being able to be fully healthy. And it showed itself last year in a very, very visible way. I mean, you look at what they did defensively, allowed 8.5 yards a pass. That's 124th in America. There's only 134 teams now. Okay, so only 10 teams were worse at defending the pass by that statistic than Florida. And to be able to make a leap personnel-wise and confidence-wise in that department, that's absolutely crucial for who they have to play on the schedule here. You got Miami, you're at Texas, LSU, Ole Miss. Georgia could be a little bit more of a vertical passing attack this upcoming year. To be able to hold it down better on the back end is just going to change the entire complexion, I believe, of Florida as a whole. So good signs so far in the secondary, a good day at the spring scrimmage. And uh, yeah, that should encourage you. Now, obviously, if the secondary has a good day, somebody has to have a little bit of uh, not their best day. DJ Lagway threw an interception, had some ups and downs during the day. And Florida fans are hearing this and saying, oh boy, what's, hey, what's going on with DJ? Hey, do we, do we have issues in Gainesville? Is there a problem in that quarterback room? I wouldn't say that at all. <laughs> I wouldn't say that at all because I think it's important to remember here, the guy early enrolled, early enrolled, he early enrolled at Florida. He's been on campus for like a cup of coffee and a few practices. This is his first real game-like scenario. I put air quotes out there for those of y'all listening on podcast. This is his first time playing 11-11 football in a game-like setting and it went probably how it would go for most true freshmen. He's playing, I think, how he is right now. And what I mean by that is he's a really talented true freshman, the number one quarterback in the class of 2024 for us here at On3. He's just figuring out how to play college football. Don't be overly concerned about that. Also be encouraged by the fact that he doesn't need to play game one. He doesn't need to be a guy that starts this year for you because you got Graham Mertz with the experience he has in spades going on his 39th year playing college football so shouts to Graham Mertz and I would not be concerned at all about DJ Lagway acclimating to the college game to be expected sounds like he made some good plays with his feet he's running with the twos DJ Lagway is going to be just fine I wouldn't be too concerned about that if I'm a Florida Gator fan so a lot of good intel over there at the uh the scrimmage from the the Florida folks over there Gator at Gators online well worth the price of admission. Get a membership over there to stay locked in for all things Florida. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.